Hello everyone, Daniel here from the Next Issue Podcast. On today's video, I'll be doing a review of Avengers, X-Men, and Eternals, X-Men number one. This is uh, the second one of these one-shots, which are very, uh, these are very heavy and very critical, I think, to the main story. So let's take a look at the preview, uh, the creators, and then we'll take, uh, we'll talk more about this issue. This issue, once again, is written by Karen Gillen, with art by Francesco Mobili, uh, Frank Martin on colors, and Clay and Kyle's on letters with a really cool cover by Nick Klein. Connecting cover, if you got the Iron Man from last week, or the Avengers issue from last week. Uh, and then also it'll be connecting to the Eternals issue uh, probably next week. Um, so yeah, this is the second story critical acts one shot. It wasn't her. It wasn't her. It wasn't her. This one follows. It, this one's all about Jean Grey. Uh, it wasn't her, yet I am fire incarnate now and forever. Which part of now and forever is confusing you? As one world burns, can Jean Grey justify her existence after burning another? And yep, if you read the Avengers issue from last week, you will know that uh, that one focused on the judgment of Iron Man. This one is focusing on the judgment of Jean Grey. Uh, the next one for the Eternals looks to be focused just based on the cover image, uh, based on Ajax. So we'll definitely see. And these are... These are so much fun. Uh, so let's let's talk. Let's take a look at some preview art. We'll talk a little bit more about this issue as we go on. Uh, so yeah, here we see the the progenitor, of course, that the Avengers and the X Men and the Eternals are are inside of them after Judgment Day, uh, and we see here Jean just she's been protecting everyone and remembering. Uh, if you take a look at this art, you'll see that the setup is very familiar. We're at a very similar place where we were at last. Uh, Last week, we're inside of the Eternal, or I'm sorry, inside of the Celestial, uh, the Progenitor, uh, and and of course we are coming. Uh, the Eternals are very weary of being working with Sinister, but they know that they have to team up with the X Men, and the last Avenger that we have for now, uh, in the in the front lines, Iron Man, uh, and and it is time for Jean Grey to be judged, as I mentioned in the synopsis, and it is so well done. I love the flashbacks. There's, a, You revisit some of Jean Grey's greatest hits the same way we did some of Iron Man's greatest hits. And just the fact that the things that the team has chosen to highlight, um, I don't, they, they're so good. I It's hard to explain because I don't want to get too much into spoiler territory, but just know that it is the greatest hits of Jean Grey. And overall, the main question is... Uh, how can Jean Grey pass judgment after all the things she's done as the Phoenix? So her past comes back to haunt her, really, once again, even though Jean may not have had anything to do with that, uh, you know, like uh, consciously, right? It was all uh, the subconscious and the influence of the Phoenix, but but the progenitor does not see it that way. So really interesting to see how Jean will be, uh, um, how she will be judged. Uh, I think the art for this issue is just so fitting. Uh, it's really cool to see the difference in art throughout the little flashbacks that we have back and forth in the, the different events in, in, in Jean Grey's life. And of course, anytime you draw Phoenix or the Phoenix Flames, uh, you get something beautiful on screen. So, uh, but, or, or on, on the page. Uh, but let me know what you thought about this issue and what you think of the Judgment Day event. Overall, I'm really enjoying it. It's one of my favorite things Marvel's done in a long time. Um, so, uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Remember to share, like, subscribe, hit the bell so you know when we go live. That is most Saturdays, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. And stay tuned because we have more comic reviews, trailer reactions, TV recaps, all that fun stuff here on the channel. Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye bye.